Now, how does it feel to be selected as uh, one of the 10 for 80? Oh, man, it's outstanding. I mean, uh, I'll be 69 in five days. And, you know, one of the things about age, you appreciate any kind of honor, but this is truly a, a, a great honor for me. Mm -hmm. Now, I was on the selection committee, as you know, and uh, I felt honored to, to vote for you. I think you were definitely deserving of being on the team. Thank you. Um, it's, you know, I, all I can say is uh, it, 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 it seems as if it's an individual award, but it, it's because of my teammates that I made it. If it wasn't for them, of course, I, I couldn't have made that. And I appreciate uh, all of my teammates that, that I played with during my uh, six years here in Washington. But really, you can't dismiss uh, your own accomplishments, too. I mean, you were a great receiver going back to your early days with the Steelers. And then coming here to D.C., you had a lot of catches, touchdown catches, uh, a lot of yards. So, and, and you played at a great time for the Redskins. Absolutely. Well, that's true. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't belittle it. I just know that, you know, without the kind of teammates I had, I wouldn't have been able to do it, though, you know. Uh, now, what are your greatest memories uh, playing for the Skins? I don't know. I think uh, just the excitement of the fans. I had heard about, you know, you, you got to remember and, 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 and they kept telling you about how much of a losing trend had the, the Redskins had been into. And for us to come in here and win immediately and, the, you know, and that excitement, the fans' excitement over the, of, of us winning, that was, that's the best. I, I think that was the best for me. Uh -huh. What about the 72 season? You guys went to the Super Bowl that year. Yeah, it was, you know, it was a, a, a sort of a miracle season in a sense. We, uh, we knew we were good because we had done well in 71. Thought we should have went to the Super Bowl then, but uh, it didn't happen. But that next year, it was just, hey, we knew we were going. And we, we played like we were going to go. Now, where did the nickname uh, Sweet Pea come from? Was that because of your soft hands? No, I, I'm, you know, I was a pretty, uh, I like to dance a lot. I, I dress quite uh, Flamboy you flamboyantly. You know, flamboyantly. And so uh, Joe Green with the, with the Steelers, uh, he and Ben McGee sort of tagged me with that name, Sweet Pea. There was a song out that sent, during that period also. It said, oh, Sweet Pea, come on and dance with me. Come on, come on, come on and dance with me. And that is where the, the, the name came from. Uh -huh. Now, what about the flamboyant dressing, for instance? I know you dressed in the mod style, but that was the, the fashion style back then, right? Oh, yeah, that was the style. And Ray May probably helped. He was a teammate of mine, middle linebacker there, and, at, and with the Steelers and with the Colts. And he's from L.A., and he and I, you know, knew one another. And he was responsible also for a lot of my mod dressing. Uh, now, uh, have you seen a lot of the Redskins today? And, and what's your opinion? And talk about RG3, too. Oh, absolutely. The, the, uh, they, RG3 is the truth. The guy is so accurate. It's just it, watching him throw balls in, in the uh, pregame pre warm-ups and stuff. The guy is just unbelievable. He has a powerful arm, but he is humble. Uh, reporters can't trap him into saying stupid things because he's he's real. He's for real, and I, I just I, I just enjoy watching him. You know, he he looks like something's going to happen when he when he comes out the huddle. You know, and I feel like anytime he has the ball, anytime he gets the ball we can possibly score. As long as we don't drop balls, as long as we don't, you know, do uh, turnover, hey, offside, we're going to score. Because he can, and if we're, in, if we're three to seven points behind, and we got a, a minute and 30 seconds left, and under 80 yards, we can score. He's the guy. He's the guy. Now, you played with a Hall of Fame quarterback, Sonny Jurgensen. Can you compare the two? I know Sonny didn't have the legs that RG3 has, but still, can you draw comparisons? The, the accuracy. That he's, he's, he's got that kind of accuracy, you know, because Sonny was the man. I mean, he could, he could do it, you know. But uh, he's got, you know, as far as – I don't think I – you know, I don't, I don't like comparing guys, 
because they all got their own their own thing. But he is a winner. Well, great. Thank you very much, Roy, and congratulations again. Thank you.